This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Mike wants to know, were there any wrestling moves the first time Arn saw them that made him go, holy shit. Was there a move that really maybe a more spectacular flippity doo die or something like that? That no, I'll tell you one that made sense, which, which, uh, you know, again, I'm one of these guys that is not going to say, don't do the flip flop and fly. You got to take it out. Our business is going to collapse. Not that guy. I think there's a blend of a lot of stuff you know, that we should keep in and some stuff that we need to put some safety measures on and we got to plug in some storytelling and all that. Da, 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 da. But one time we we're on a Japan show and it was probably the first Japan show that I'd ever been on. And uh, I immediately gravitated to their style and them, even though a guy's got a submission on him and he's a baby face, he digs to the ropes to save himself from having to tap out as a baby face. And I, the first time I'd seen that. So you being a wrestling enthusiast, you would look at that as a little funky, right? Oh, for sure. Well, but as I watched the matches, the audience popped when the guy had an option, either tap out. He's got a vicious hold on him. He can't wrestle out of it. Other than lose the match, he saves himself the only way he can with the ropes. It started to make sense to me. And that style started to make a little more sense. This was not the strong style stuff so much, but just the the storytelling. And then we saw the kid come out who's a tremendous performer. Uh, what is the Japanese boy's name that worked for us? That worked with uh, Brian Pillman had the incredible match. Well, you know, had the mask. Oh, on. yeah, yeah. It's Yushin Thunder Liger. Thunder Liger. How, how could I not know that name? Well, in the middle of the show, he was having a hell of a match with uh, somebody and it all of a sudden they went up top and they're standing on the top and Liger took a superplex. Now I had never seen a superplex standing on the top here in the States. You stood on the second. So there was some safety and the guy that was getting superplexed was on the top. Both guys were standing up on top. And he took the damnedest bump I'd ever seen. He never moved. They shut the show down. They sent EMTs down. They put him, took 15 minutes to get him on a stretcher. They shut the show down and they took him out of there in an ambulance. And it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was a big bump, but by today's standards, it wouldn't warrant that. But I saw that and I went, when this guy comes back and hopefully they'll keep him off six months or something, he's going to draw a ton of money just from the way the audience felt for him that night that you could just tell they were, people were crying. Men were crying. Women were crying. They thought he had killed this guy. It was awesome. Uh, Rajiv wants to know, did you ever debate shaving your head? I started losing my hair at a young age and thought it looked better for myself. So I've been bald for years. Uh, did you ever think about doing the old buzz? Uh, I did, but you know, I probably don't have the right shaped head for it. And there's so many holes and knots that are on my head that with a little bit of fuzz I've got on top of it, you don't see, you would certainly see if I, uh, you know, shave my head. It's, it's like Austin has that perfect egg head to be bald. He, he does bald. Excellent. I don't think I would do bald very good. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.